I basically printed out all the Q&A questions. A lot of people asked in the Q&A, when are you gonna do a face reveal? French roses, when are you gonna do a face reveal? This is my face reveal. I'll start off with the most basic questions that I got asked. And yes, my first name is Noelle. I'm 5'7 and I am 19. So the first question is why and who inspired you to start your channel? And this is like a really easy answer. So the first reason why I started my YouTube channel and I feel like everyone does it for the same reason is I wanted Robux. My parents wouldn't let me buy Robux. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take matters into my own hands and I'm gonna get some. Obviously, I didn't actually start YouTube at this point. I was watching a bunch of YouTubers. Moonfall X, I don't know if you guys know her. She's now a Bed Wars YouTuber for Roblox. And then The Laughing Unicorn, which is crazy now because I'm actually friends with her. So that's like very full circle moment. Moonfall X used to make these role play videos where she would do like movies and then, I don't know, it was like cinematic. If you watch my old videos, I did like this old murder movie thing where it was like gone part don't watch them. That's where I started doing YouTube and I didn't do Bloxburg at first. That was just regular Roblox videos and in studio and kind of just random gameplay compiled together. So that was one of the things that I did. I started doing YouTube in like 2018. Around that time I was 13 or 14 years old. Where did you get the name French Roses? Okay, so there's a really long story about this. French Roses, originally my channel name was The French Turtle. Basically, I got this from the laughing unicorn because she had the laughing unicorn. So I was like, okay, you know what? That's like cute. So I was like, you know what? I'll do the French turtle. Obviously the name did not stay. I switched to French roses. The name kind of switched because I like Paris a lot. So that's where the French part came in. I really like the Eiffel Tower. I've always wanted to go there when I was little. I still want to go there now. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, that's where the French part came in. Roses were just my favorite flowers. So I put the two together and the X is only there because when I was going to make the account name, I finally got the Robux. I got like a thousand Robux and I finally changed my name from the French turtle to French roses on Roblox. And of course, when I did that, the name was taken. So I just decided to add an X because at the time it was like an aesthetic thing. I kind of do regret it now, but it's kind of like a staple name, French roses. So I wouldn't change it now. How did you get into Bloxburg slash building? This is actually funny because the same person that got me into Roblox got me into Bloxburg and it was my friend. In middle school, I thought Roblox was literally just a game about cars because what I've seen, I used to be like a full on Minecraft player. I thought Roblox was just like cars and robots because Roblox, I don't know. I just, I made a weird assumption. So my friend was like, no, no, no. It's actually like a really fun game and there's mini games. So I started playing with her and it was a lot of fun. And I was like, you know what? This is good. I think about two years after that, because I joined Roblox in 2016. She started playing Bloxburg in 2018, but I didn't have Robux. So I still didn't have enough money to get Bloxburg at the time. But then eventually I did get Robux and I bought Bloxburg. So she got me into it. She used to follow speed builds and I used to just build random houses. And I also built speed builds also every so often. So she told me, she's like, you're a really good builder. You should try making speed builds. The entire time I played Bloxburg, I was just building like I would build a house delete it build a house delete it. like wasted all my money just building and deleting stuff And she was like girl, you're always building. Why don't you just make a YouTube channel like these youtubers? She used to watch speed builds and follow them. So I was like, you know what? All right, I'll try it What is your college major? I'm majoring in urban planning and environmental design And if you don't know what that is, it's kind of just like a fancy name for architecture So basically I'll be doing designing of cities and making it more sustainable and walkable So if you watched my last video with Annex and I where we were judging Bloxburg houses and we were talking about about walkable communities. That's basically what it is. We're just making it so like you get rid of cars and six lane roads and we make, we're gonna make cities more prettier and better for everyone. So it's not like car centric. That's a really bad explanation. I'll fix the description. Who are your favorite music artists and your favorite songs? I don't have a favorite, but I have a list of all the music artists I do listen to. So I listen to a lot of Cigarettes After Sex, The Weeknd, Lana Del Rey, Madison Beer, Lolo Zui. I listen to a mix of things. It's It ranges a lot. Mainly I listen to pop music. So that's kind of where the genre comes in. Favorite games besides Bloxburg? At the moment, Arsenal. I always play Arsenal when I'm not on Bloxburg building something. I've been playing Doors lately with the two roaches. I don't really play that many Roblox games. The things that I do play is like Hello Kitty Cafe. Yeah. I can't like think of them off the top of my head. I do like playing horror games, even though I'm deathly scared every time I play them. Like literally I freak out. Yeah, mainly just Arsenal and Doors. That's, that's all I play at the moment. Also, if you guys hear like any background noise, that's just because I'm not using my regular mic, which is this one because I don't have a face cam on my computer. Otherwise I would have done it on my computer, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna hear like all the surround sound. What do you use to record slash edit slash do your thumbnails? So I record with OBS, I edit with Premiere 
and thumbnails and do Photoshop. OBS is free, Premiere and Photoshop are not, but if you're a student, mainly your school will have like an account for you to use. Before I was able to pay for it on my own, I used my school account. You just need your login from your school. Photoshop and Premiere, love them. I used to use Movie Maker and Camtasia, but I just found that Premiere has more options and more like creative output for me. So I can do a lot more with Premiere. That's why I switched, so. Yeah. How did you meet Annex and Faulty and how did the trio start? Okay, so this goes back so many years. We've known each other for such a long time now. Back in 2018, I used to have a Discord server for my fans. And at this point, I had around one to 2,000 subs. So I was really tiny. At the time, me and Isaac were friends. We had like acquaintances in the community, but we weren't close at all. He was just kind of there for the moment. And then Annex joined my server and he used to actively talk a lot. So we kind of just like got close through my server and talking. And then eventually Annex and Isaac were doing a collab build battle video once. And there was a group chat. Annex invited me to join. It was either Annex or Isaac. I don't remember because it was such a long time ago, but one of them invited me to join and be in the tour. So I was like, you know what? Sure. After this, we were all we all started talking in this group chat we had. And the thing was, there were two other people in this group chat, but they literally left the group chat because we talked so much. Like every day, we'd send like thousands of messages. It kind of just evolved from there. We became friends, and we're all really good friends now. We do have like a trio channel if you guys want to check it out. It's called The Crew. But yeah, that's kind of how it started just through my Discord server and mutual friends. We were all so tiny at the time. I think Annex had like 200 subs, I had 1,000, and Isaac had the most. He had around like 5K. So we all started very little and became friends. We all grew together, which is really cute. This is a good question. If you can't tell by my background, the question says, what star code do you use? I feel like this is a very obvious answer. As it says on the screen right here, star code rose all the way. If you're not using star code rose, what are you doing? Go use it. What is your dream career besides YouTube? Obviously, YouTube was my dream ever since I was little, so I feel like I already have my dream career. If I had to pick something else, it would be interior design. I just love decorating and doing anything related to like fashion and building. There's such like a wide range of what you can do, so I love it so much and I can basically like make an interior pink or purple and I can do whatever I want and no one can stop me. And you guys probably see that in my builds. I do a lot of crazy stuff. That would be my dream. I hope one day, like when I finish college, I can make my own interior design company. We'll see what happens. So who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? At the moment, I don't really watch much YouTube, but when I'm bored, I do watch Flamingo. I've been watching him since I was little when he was on his Albert stuff channel. And it's kind of crazy because I'm going to RDC and he's going to be there. So like full circle moment. I love his videos, so I'm like super excited to meet him. It'll be an honor to get a picture with him. And then I do watch David Dobrik from time to times, but he doesn't upload anymore, so I don't really watch him that much anymore. I do watch my videos, Isaac's and Annex's, if I'm in it. I only watch them if I'm in it because I think they're funny. I do like watching my videos. I think they're entertaining. That's probably because I edited them, so I don't know. I hope you guys like watching them too. And I know if you're still watching this and you aren't subscribed, girl, what are you doing? Subscribe. Just just subscribe. Why did you change content from speed builds to commentary? This is a long story. I was doing speed builds and I, I still love doing speed builds. I think they're so fun. When I do speed builds, it doesn't have anything to do with me or my personality. It's kind of just building. And it takes me a really long time to build, as you can probably tell. I'm really slow. Like, I'm a super slow builder. By switching to commentary, I can upload a lot more. And I also can bring in my personality, which is what I want my YouTube to be about. I know people follow me for my builds, but I also want them to follow me because of my personality. And they think that I'm entertaining, not just for builds, because... Yeah. I was never going to actually do it until Annex started doing it. He kind of gave me the push. He was like, do it. Just, just do it. I was like, you know what? I will. But in the beginning, I was really shy. You can probably tell. Now I'm... I'm pretty calm about it now. Like I don't, I don't get nervous that much anymore, thankfully. How do you find videos for every week? Slash, how do you balance school and YouTube? So for videos every week, I'm not gonna lie. I'm on a week to week basis with videos. I literally record the video the week of, and then I edit it because it takes me a while. Planning builds takes a lot of time. So I try to do as much as I can. I obviously started uploading again in February, which is when school was going on. It didn't affect my schedule. I was pretty consistent. Like I'm very productive. I don't procrastinate or anything. I start school the day after this is gonna come out. I'm gonna hope and pray that I can stay being active because I actually love making videos. I think they're so fun. We're gonna hope for the best. We'll hope. But with ideas, I kind of get a lot of them from you guys. When you guys comment, I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna use that. I, I give all the credit to you guys. Thank you. What are you planning for the future of your channel? As I said before, I'm kind of on a week to week basis. So I have no idea. 
I want to keep uploading. I want to stay doing commentary. I like doing commentary a lot. It could change in the future. I don't know. I don't really make impulse decisions, but with my channel, sometimes I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to experiment and do this. And you've probably seen with my channel, I went from speed builds to commentary to movie recreation. So it just kind of like fluctuates based on my schedule. So if I'm really busy, then I'll do a long-term video, which is something that takes a long time to do. For example, like Frozen in Bloxburg and Tangled in Bloxburg. I didn't have a lot of set time at one place. So I kind of just did like a large project that I knew was going to take a long time. And I knew that over time it would do good. So yeah. How do you plan your builds and how are you super detailed? Planning my builds, I'm not gonna lie, I literally build the entire thing and then take pictures and delete it and then rebuild it. I found that the easiest way because when I used to not plan and do speed builds or regular builds, everyone was very mad that I would delete stuff. And that's fair, I would get frustrated too. So that's what I do. How am I super detailed? Honestly, practice. That's that's like the only thing I could say. I used to watch speed builds before I was a speed builder. So I picked up a lot of tactics and skills from that and just Pinterest. But if you want to learn more tips on how to be a better builder, watch my how to build in Bloxburg video. Just, just came out like a month ago. You should watch it. It's very, very helpful, very resourceful. Do you think Roblox has affected your personal life in any way? I don't think so. I've kept my circle of people that know that I'm a YouTuber very small because I'm a very private person. At most, someone will just ask, what's your job? And I'll be like, oh, I do YouTube. That's my job. It hasn't affected my personal life because like I haven't shown my face or anything. So I kind of have like two lives. Now I am showing my face. So if you see me in public, say hello. What's your favorite show slash movie? I don't have a favorite show because I literally watch shows and then I'm like, that's my favorite. And then I watch another one, I'm like, you know what? That's my favorite. But I'd say my favorite movie that I can watch at any time and just always rewatch it would probably be The Hunger Games. I just, I love that series. I love Katniss, I love Peta. I'm trying to think of a TV show. I'm watching Suits right now. I would say a good TV show that I could always rewatch is Gossip Girl. That one's good. Grey's Anatomy is good. I really just watch romance, so. Romance and like dystopian dramas. Those are those are my favorite genres. Barbie movie was very good. You should watch it. Probably one of my top movies. What are your hobbies besides YouTube? I like to read a lot. I do like to play sports. I play ice hockey. I like to do fashion stuff. Not really designing clothes, but I like to make outfits. So like anytime I have an event, you know your girl, she is going online Pinterest. She will be shopping for an outfit. I literally make sure I have the most extra sparkly outfit you can think of for anything. Like, I would say YouTube is my hobby because it takes up a lot of time and it's very, it's a very creative outlet, which I love, that's why I do it. What is a fun fact you've never told us before? When I started my channel at like 1,000 subscribers, when I was able to monetize, I told my mom and she thought it was illegal. So she made me delete my channel. She's like, you can't make money on YouTube. That's, that's crazy. She didn't like know how it worked. So I had my channel deleted twice because of that. Here I am today, my third channel. French Roses, she's back again. That's kind of why I changed my name because the first one was French Turtle and then I just changed it to French Roses when I made a new channel. My first, first video, that's not actually my first video. It was just a re-upload. The watermark says Sun Roses and that was just me trying to change my channel name a little bit because I had to get a new channel, so yeah. Would you ever do face cam videos? I don't know, I don't have a face cam. That's why I'm using my phone. I'm not used to seeing myself when I'm talking or making videos, so that's kind of weird to me. So I don't know if I'd ever consider doing that. I am considering vlogging at RDC, if that counts as a face cam video. Maybe in the future that's subject to change, but I don't have a face cam and I don't want to buy one. Too much work. I, we stay doing scuff stuff. Do you have any pets? I do not. As you can tell, these are my children my bears and I have this huge bear right here. These are my babies. I have an addiction. We literally have every size possible. The bears will do as my pets. Do you have a favorite stuffed animal? I have been posting my stuffed animals a lot on my Instagram, but I do have a favorite stuffed animal and let me show you. So this is my creeper. I've had this for over 10 years. I call this my child. I bring it on every vacation with me just because it's my security blanket. My second favorite after that would probably just be this bear. Huge. This one's new. I just got this one like two weeks ago. Are you a Swifty? And will you be attending the Eras tour? I am a Swifty. I love her music. She is touring soon. I would love to get a ticket, but there's like a wait list. We're gonna hope for the best. If anyone wants to give me their ticket, I will take it. But, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This is my setup if you were curious how it looked. This is the keyboard that I accidentally dumped in water because I was trying to clean it. Hopefully I answered all your guys' questions. If you're still watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe and use code ROSE as it says on the computer right there. Okay. Goodbye. You know you love me. XOXO.
French Roses Girl.